Hello, so you've just signed up for a free form stack account through Constant Contact. Welcome. Let me walk you through the steps to editing your brand new newsletter sign up form. You'll first want to go to the address bar and type in www.formstack.com. And then once you're there, go to the right hand top of the screen and click on login. We would have sent you a temporary password the day you signed up um, to your email. So you want to enter your email address and that temporary password, or you can always click on forget your password and create a new one. Once you've logged in to your new Formstack account, go to the top and click on forms. There you will see the form that you just created called Constant Contact List Sign Up. You just hover over that and click on Build. As you will see on the left hand side of your screen will be all the, the form builder tools that you can put into your form. You may want to choose name if you want a first and a last name on your form. So click, drag, and drop it onto the form. Now you have two name fields, so you may want to hover over the older name field. And on the right hand side, click on the red X to delete. Many customers like to add a description field on their form. Um, this is something where you can explain to your customer why they're actually giving you their name and email address. Um, something that could be at the top of the form like sign up for my monthly newsletter here. In order to do that, click on description area on the left hand side or just drag and drop it onto the form. And now a little description area will appear. Here you can type in whatever you would like to say um, to your user so they know what they're signing up for. Don't be afraid about making mistakes here. You can very easily always go back and edit and delete anything that you put on your form. Click Save. If this description area is not where you would like it on the form, hover over it and click on the two arrows that are crossed over each other, drag and drop it where you would like it on the form. If you would like to edit that area to change the font size, make it bold, add colors, just hover over it and click it and then you can edit with the editing tools within that box. Click Save. Your form is looking great. Now you can go up and click on the disk, which is save on the right hand side of the screen. And we're ready to move on to the settings portion. So go up to the top of the screen and click on settings. And then click on constant contact. Here's where we will want to map everything to send it from Formstack to Constant Contact. So make sure that you are logged into your Constant Contact account at the top where it says username. On the left hand side is basically everything at Constant Contact. On the right hand side is everything that's on your form. So you want to map things like name to first name and email to email. After that scroll to the bottom where you'll find list assignment. This is where you can choose the specific email list within Constant Contact that the data will go into once your user fills out this specific form. You can choose one or all of them or just a couple of them. It's totally up to you which email list you would like to send that data to. And then click Save All Settings. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Now go up to the top and click on Publish. Here you will find the URL link to your form that you can copy and paste and place anywhere. Or you can go to the left hand side and click on embed form. 
This will give you three different embed codes that you'll want to get to your web developer, um, JavaScript, Lightbox, or iFrame. If you do have a content management system like WordPress, we strongly suggest you use the iFrame embed code. If you want to check your form to see what it's going to look like, click on URL links, click on that link right there, and your form will open as the world will see it. Congratulations, you now know how to log into formstack.com and edit your form.